All right, what is going on guys? Alex here, here coming back at you with another video. Um, so today we're at Gold's. Show you guys the road to like 190 pounds naturally. I gotta start pushing the natural stuff more. You got it. So what'd you do to the super so far? Uh, down pipe, a full exhaust, an intake, and then a piggyback JB4. So I can't actually tune into uh, this uh, piggyback tune for now. It looks good in this, like, when it's not, like, sunny, like, it kind of reflects, but... Yeah, when it... I was at 500 wheel horsepower, right? Really? Now. Still in the tuning process, just started it, got it back at Christmas. What year is it? 19. 19. You got the nicest whips here at Gold's. My boy got the merch on. It looks jacked. How much you weighing right now? 28, 28 inch. It's crazy. How much you weighing? 90. That's what I'm trying to get to. Yeah. I so. Yo, I pitch wisdom for the kisdom. Solid as a prism, keeps a funky rhythm. If I want it, I go and get it. My blood thicker than water. We up like a zipper. My jeans seems got ashes from the plane. I'm elevating and crashing in the bed, but instead I hit my rooftop and watch the world go. Penning this shit inside my journal. Look up at the stars as I burn slow. Head to the veil over by Shrouds. We in the house with the herbal. As I throw on my starter, once my ignition startup is go time. And we ain't even hit our prime in no time. In the city living, spending past our limits. Put my all up in it, only play to win it. What's the status quo? What's the scenario? Kicking mad flavor as for hoes, we don't save a dough. Put them to the side like a page of dough. Cut them off clean like a tape of dough. Really think you dream until you wake up though. Everything is custom. If they ain't want it, then fuck them. If they ain't part of the process, can't trust them. Double cup and sipping, bought a new row, eating true rows. Shorty ass fat like a sumo, and I'm high off the you know. Chilling with the crew, playing Uno. Niggas trying to front, but it's cool though. We on our way up, so it's kudos. Trying to get the moolah, cop a tuto. I need a big crib with a blue nose. Step into my dreams like it's Euro. So, Ethan does a stupid amount of volume when he trains. So just a bunch of pull downs. So we're training back. I'm gonna do a little bit of legs today. Um, do every time I train with them though. Stupid amount of volume. Shorty asked me what's my shoe size. She think I'm too fly, but I'm really too high. And I ain't with the rah rah. Hit her and tell her bye bye. Already got my nala. I'm Simba in the flesh on the high rise. It's all about the commas and the dollar. Devils wear Prada. It's just another saga. It's just another saga. Mental health check. Wallet on me check. Another day check. We put them in check. Spliffs on me check. We got it on deck. Checks on check. On to the next, yeah. Mental health check. Wallet on me check. Another day check. We put them in check. Spliffs on me check. We got it on deck. Checks on check. On to the next, yeah. 84 pull up out the lot slow Not grow but the knowledge we got lots for Kim tripping, I could too do the impossible My legacy forever but this body better rot slow I do this for my kids, they're my kids' kids My kids' kids and they kids' kids One to one is who I'm is, is Plus I'm so upstate, you see it's tatted on my ribs, ribs Okay, one plus one equals two, you knew that Got that check and your dumb ass blew that You don't have a savings cause you don't trust banks But you can't talk money cause your shoebox blank Empty, bend on the edge, don't tempt me I'd rather own less than be renting Don't tempt me, buy the whole block, don't
And a fucking slap. No, Cordoba's so much better. What? So much better. I'm gonna get Starbucks. What? I'm gonna get Starbucks after I eat it. I'm gonna get a... No, I'm gonna get a refresher. All right, so my go-to uh, Kudoba order. White rice, double chicken, no beans, pickled onions, tomatoes, no guac today. And that's it. I think is better than Chipotle. If you think is better, you haven't had this Kudoba. So let me know what you like down below. Got my pink drink. Oh, this is why I can't go anywhere nice with you guys. This oh, shit. <laughs> Don't eat the fuzzy thing. What's, it, what's his name? Maverick. S sit. Sit. He's not gonna sit. Shake. 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 <laughs> what is that, dude? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So, uh, back to the. To, this is gonna be the main part of the video. Hope you guys enjoy the vlog as always. Trying to put some car stuff in them because I love the cars and all that. And um, yeah, I just love making the vlog. So, I'm trying to find a way to, oh, man, to like get into um this video I posted a thing uh, for people to ask me questions uh, when I last recently had a little like I was, I was going to Jersey and um, a lot of the questions I got had to do with the whole natural and like unnatty thing like who's natty in the industry who's not um, and and then I also posted a picture day actually on my Instagram which is it's doing pretty good and like I, I looked pretty good I was like looking good in it I had some like veins in my delts popping um, and I've been like pretty good with my training and everything and I said in the caption feeling controversial Con con controversial still natty for now dot 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 right and then everybody in the comments a lot of them were saying like yo like please stay natty Alex like the last natty um like it's motivating to be natty like if you take gear like I'm done like I give up and stuff like that <clears throat> so I thought it was only right to make a video talking a little bit more um, about this stuff now, I have made a video when I was in LA kind of talking a little bit about this as well as some other issues that have been on my mind um but this one uh some of you guys may or may not like to hear it. Honestly, it depends what your opinion on this is yourself and your audience. Again, um, this is my opinion, um, and we're all entitled to have our own opinions, you know what I mean? So don't get mad at me if this, like, you go, you just don't agree, you know what I mean? Um, but anyway, so ever since, like, the fitness industry really has been popping, obviously over the last decade, it's been growing a whole lot more, and that's pretty obvious to see with the whole thing of social media. Um, if you could think of the OGs in the fitness industry, like, top few that come to my head, like Simeon Panda, Bradley Martin, Callum Von Moger, Ziz, like Jeff Side, like those are like the OG guys, right? And then uh, David Lade, of course, and then like kind of as um, like the last five years, a lot of like the old Gymshark guys, like Anthony James, um, Lex, and all those guys, and more recently, which is like the TikTok wave, I would call it, would be like um, Sush. Um, I would maybe put myself in that. I, obviously I came from TikTok, so I'll put myself in that group as well. A lot of the main people who are like popping right now would be like those from the TikTok era, to be honest, or from the coming over from Gymshark and stuff like that. And honestly, I feel like there's been this transition over from the whole like natty or chasing like the best, like or like natty physique chasing towards like a lot of more people being very open about gear use. If you look at the fitness industry, um, again, like 10, five years ago even, there was like nobody who would talk about the whole idea of gear. A lot of these people who were like popping, like all claim natural, Michael Hearn, like all these people, like literally, Simeon Pan, like look like super jacked and they all claim natural, which I guarantee you they are not. You know what I mean? It's pretty it's pretty easy to tell if somebody's like on gear or not. At least I think it is. Um, but it's transitioned to this, to this point where we're at kind of now where it's almost like a, tr not a trend, I don't wanna say a trend, a trend honestly for like the younger people who like don't do research, who have like nothing to gain from it, to hop on SARMs or gear and stuff like that. And a lot of people will even gain like clout off of being super open about their gear usage. And that's not bad at all, that's not bad. But um, the way I see it is like before people thought if they were open about their gear, they would lose their followers and support. And it seems like now, honestly, it can help you gain. For example, I'm really good friends with Brian Schmidt, right? He came open about his gear usage, hopping on trend and like all this stuff. And he kind of was blowing, he had some videos blowing up off of it. And um, it, it's good because he's being he's being open about it, which is a good thing to do. Um, but it's in a way, um, I, there's a hard way to go about, go around this. It's definitely a touchy subject, but it's kind of the way you show and, per and perceive it. Now, a lot of our target audiences, a lot of the guys who came from the TikTok era for this industry at the moment, all have a similar target audience. And that is pretty much kid. I can show you my analytics. Kids age from like 13 to like 21, 
right? And they're all like males. Like my my following is like 94% male. And they're all following that like younger younger teenager range. A lot of kids are starting to lift at a younger age now. It used to be like 16. I thought I started at 16. But kids are starting at like 12, like 13 now, right? And when these kids who their minds are easy to be influenced look up to some of these guys they see on their TikTok, you know what I mean? They're like, yo, he's got a sick physique. Um, a lot of my most asking ask questions my DMs like, yo, like, are you are you natural? What's your height and your weight? Because they want to see if you're natty or not because they want to see if they can attain that physique. Now, a lot of these kids <clears throat> can be easily influenced. Obviously, that's in the case with anything. Like drugs and alcohol will do it. You know what I mean? In high school, they are, it's so common now. Is the the sight of like the possibility of popping on SARMs or gear at a young age? When they look up to the favorite influencers being really open about their gear cycle, they might try to copy it, right? And that's bad because. Obviously, you shouldn't be doing that at such a young age. Um, I only, I would never endorse that stuff unless you were like straight up competing, like pro card competing and stuff like that. Then it, I think it makes more sense. Or if you're like doing it for a living, like a straight, like full time job, you know what I mean? What's sad is like I've been, I've heard ever since like getting into this industry, I've heard about so many stories of kids like 16, 17, 18 hopping on SARMs, even stuff like Test at such a young age. I'm like, bro, and like. This is, this is where it's, it gets really touchy. Now, don't hate me for this. I love like people like Ziz and like all these guys a lot of people look up to, but in a way, their lifestyle isn't a good influence to a lot of these kids. For example, like Ziz, um, obviously great influence to aesthetics, all that great, you know, awesome guy. He like literally was like the mark of the fitness industry, like who started kind of it all. And, um, but that lifestyle of like the, you know, the, like the parties and concerts, like the like the drugs that they would kind of do with those concerts and the whole lifestyle of taking a lot of gear to look like a shredded sick cunt, you know what I mean? Like that like that lifestyle, like it's not healthy or good for a kid who's easily able to be influenced looking up to that person, if that makes sense. And when you when you take that as being like very acceptable and accepting it, socially making it socially acceptable, it can it, it, it can maybe cause issues I feel like in a younger generation. That's just my opinion on it, right? But it's obvious, even look at in the whole issue with like the whole sport, not issue, the whole sport of bodybuilding. What is the top paid like division, right? It's like the straight up like the Mr. Olympia, like the big boys, like Chris Bumstead. Um, what's the one guy, the, the one guy who won who's like huge, oh, big Rammy, that guy. Like obviously they're taking a lot of steroids and that's the one that gets paid the most. So if you're a bodybuilder and you want to shoot for that, you're gonna have to take a bunch of gear, which is unhealthy, right? Why can't there be a natural division, right? That's like really well paid and highly sponsored and stuff like that. It's just because it's not as attractive. You know what I mean? Which sucks because like it's in, it's it's almost putting people on a unhealthy lifestyle. And again, obviously it's your choice if you want to like risk the whole thing with taking gear and all that stuff. But for me, my job as a, as a influencer, if you want to call it that, is in my passion in life is to be a positive influence um, to a new generation of kids, right? Or teenagers, whatever you want to call it. And to use my struggles and my past the things that I've learned to help um, the audience that follows me to learn from and to gain from it. And when I say like these DMs I get, for example, people tell me how I've helped change their life, lead them to Christ, any of that stuff, that gives me so much more worth in my life and literally fulfills me. Fulfills me in so many ways and it's 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 what I want in my life. It's my passion and something that I want to be able to do and to keep doing this for the rest of my life. Um, so because I've come to the conclusion that that's what I want to do, I need to be a positive role model for my audience. So obviously you guys have known I've contemplated about hopping on gear for a long time now, a long time. Every every day, I almost think about it because I see all these guys in the fitness industry hopping on and like being open about it, and they're it's in and, and like you would think them being open about it would make them lose support, but it's almost like they gain more support because people are more interested to see like how they change, what are the side effects, like with that individual person, um, which sucks. You know what I mean? Because I I know if I hopped on uh, gear, I I could probably increase my income up to like. Just random, random number like 30, 40 percent, and why? It's because the algorithms and stuff is how I'm able to make money uh, off of how much I'm able to grow. So if I'm shredded, vascular, fuller year round, right, all gear, I'm gonna get on the explore page more. I'm gonna get on the for you page more. People, more people are gonna see my stuff, more likely they're gonna subscribe and like my stuff. Equates to more, more sales and my code, more, just more money over time, right? It makes sense, does it not? So being natural, it's a little bit harder. Um, People again say like, oh well, you, well you, I, I have my own little niche of being natural, and then again, like, it's really not that, not that. I don't know. It's just it's not as helpful. So I'm gonna start pushing the nat thing a lot now because I feel like I need to, I need to make it more important, and just feel like again, it's my job to push this a lot. That you do not have to hop on anything. So arms gear, you can do this naturally. Focus on your sleep, your recovery, your training. You know what I mean? Like have a good guide to help you do it. Like that can really help change your physique. You know what I mean? Like it's not like the last resort does not have to be gear always. So. Yeah, I've came to the conclusion of that, that 
I, I'm going to say like natural for the foreseeable future. If I ever get like maybe in my thirties and like my test levels are dropping a lot, actually at the moment, my coach is like, what we have on my plan for bulking is to try to fix my hormones naturally. And I've been feeling pretty good. I'm, I'm staying like, I'm only gaining like a few pounds, but I'm still looking lean. I'm starting to feel a little bit more energetic, better pumps in the gym, better fullness. And like, I'm feeling pretty good. So hopefully that continues. And if my tests ever drop a lot, like when I'm like 30 and I'm getting older, then maybe I'll consider hopping on like a TRT dosage just for health benefits and like work benefits, but never like full on cycle cycles of taking like unhealthy stuff that could hurt myself. You know what I mean? So yeah, I feel like I just had to get this off, off my chest. Cause again, it's like a touchy subject and not a lot of people, not everybody's going to, going to agree with it. And they're like, like a lot of, some of my comments are like, yo, like stop being a pussy. Just hop on, hop on gear. Like, like no one cares that you're natural and stuff like that. Like no one cares. Just hop on. Like everybody, you know what I mean? And it's just like, bro, just cause everybody's, everybody's doing it or like no one like cares. Like it's again, I have to, I have to think about what I'm doing this for and what I want to be known for. I want to be known as somebody who helps change lives, helps say, you know, help people like lead them to Christ, lead them to the gym and do it in a healthy lifestyle that show like be different from everybody else right there's not a lot of many naturals left in the industry there are there are a few um i'm not gonna name like who i know is not all i'm not gonna expose anybody obviously but um yeah like i don't get a gold star for being natural like i understand that so if you want to comment like yo like no one cares you're natty like you shouldn't be making this video like i know I, i'm not better than anybody else i'm not i'm the same same level as everybody else it's just um uh, I think about like the reason like why a lot of this like th th like the influencers why are we doing this what are we doing it for what's your my thing that helped me understand my purpose in life is like or my like help me get out of like my soul my uh, anxiety mental issues was like understanding my passion um, and my purpose in life and my passion is lifting it's cars gaming all the stuff and uh, my purpose is the whole thing of like changing lives and like helping influence kids in a positive way like this generation that we have coming up is so like. This is for another video. It's just messed up. Like, I am not even going to talk about that because this video is going to be long enough. But, um, yeah, again, as always, I am transparent with you guys as much as I can be. Um, um, and again, like, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect at all. I have my flaws and you might not agree with some of the things that I say and that's perfectly fine. I hope you can still support me. At least I'm going to be open about my beliefs and not straight lie to you guys about something. You know what I mean? So, hope you guys enjoy these types of videos. You guys seen the like when I talk about touchy sub subject subjects. So uh, yeah, so that is it for this YouTube video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. We're on the road to 100,000 followers, man. After making this video, I think I'm around 10K away. And the goal is to hit 100K in this year, which we might not be able to do in like three days or whatever. But we'll probably hit it in January, and I can't wait to get that plaque. So um, yeah, if you haven't liked the video, please like the video, comment, help with the algorithm so more people can see this. Um, yeah, I got, oh, the hoodies you guys were asking about, the Chasing Aesthetics hoodies on my website, they will drop in a few days. Uh, they weren't, they're not out yet, so you didn't miss it. Um, and yeah, so code Alex, huge supplements, raw gear, check out my programs, merch on my website, anything else I have to plug, Gila Mix I'm with, um, yeah, that's it, uploads Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Until next time.